everyone it's Deb here and I am back with a 12 by 12 layout using April kits um, this layout turned out um, really really super simple I'd really held back I wanted to throw everything on here but um, I did use a lot of the chipboard frame so after these stalls we're going to get into the process of it and I just grabbed all the frames from the chipboard sheets um, still got some frames left but that's okay I can use them um, elsewhere so I did have a play before I turned the camera on um, the placement of where I wanted the frame so then I could get some kind of idea of what photos I could use what size to print the photos out so um, at the moment I'm just like um, pulling that backing piece off and just one layer of that chipboard just so I can move the frames are about on my layout uh, without them sticking to the cardstock and I'm just sticking down my photos I just sized my photos in Photoshop and um, just sticking them behind each frame And now I'm going to cut down my cardstock. I cut down one inch of each side, of two sides, sorry, um, of my cardstock because I'm going to have that beautiful blue um, pattern paper feature on two sides of my cardstock. And I am going to kind of gut that out so I can um, use it as a border but still have that uh, piece to use on another project. And I'm just going to glue that down. I do have a bit of trouble. I don't know why I did um, gluing that down. So I did cut all that out. I was just checking that I did cut it properly because, well, it's me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I did cut it all out. I um, put it down a couple of times and didn't get it quite right. I still didn't get it quite right in the end. So I had to trim a tiny bit off the bottom and the side. So everything's stuck down and I'm just going to um, build my layout. I'm just going to fuss about a bit to um, roughly get the frames how I want them um, but in the middle of the um, white cardstock there so I did pull out those um, transparencies from the embellishment um, pack that we got from Kayser Craft um, they went perfect with this layout because this layout is about our holiday um, that we took at Christmas uh, so perfect little travel embellishments and then I pulled out some of the exclusive die cuts uh, the photo uh, frame that's uh, got my son there that I'm gluing down now has got three hearts on it that have got that pop of yellow on it so I did bring in some more of the yellow I bought in the puffy heart uh, puffy heart the puffy star um, from the sticker sheet the puffy sticker sheet to put in the middle of my compass um, transparency there um, two labels and that scallop border just to bring in a pop of that yellow it's kind of a yellowy kind of green it's not a true yellow yellow um, but just to bring pops of that around my page and just gluing down my frames now and because I'm overlapping those frames I'm going to have to bump them up with some of the craft foam and I've just got that from Spotlight um, just so they all sit evenly on the page.
popping that little puppy star onto my um, transparency piece and that gave me the opportunity to put a little bit of glue behind the star so I could stick that down and just still going about fussing with things and gluing down the rest of my frames and I am going to add this little scallop border uh, to the bottom of this frame to bring that pop of uh, yellow to the bottom of the page before I stick that one down and I'm just adding a bit more of the craft foam behind to give it a bit more um, sturdiness I guess um, so it sits level there and popping down the other transparency and just tucking them under I only glued in the middle of the frame so I could still um, tuck things under where I needed I'm going um, down my the exclusive um, label there and I did pull off uh, two word stickers from that pink fresh word sticker pack we got it um, there was a lot of different words there and there was a couple that had um, a few kind of travel thing uh, themed words on there so I did pick adventure and travel off that um, sticker sheet and I'm going to pop one under my little frame the travel on that label and just pop in the other label up behind the lighthouse photo I'm just going this one back down and I'm going to pop adventure up on oh I must have got something a bit of lead pencil on my layout I was rubbing that out um, popping that label up behind them two frames and then popping that adventure word onto that label there. Okay, so I didn't want to put a big title on this, so I thought I'd just use my own handwriting um, and it's called Adventure at Fingal and I'm just um, doing like a faux kind of scripty calligraphy font there and I will put a date stamp underneath that title too and for some reason my camera didn't record it but I did put a like a, a one centimeter border I was using my pen at this time I thought I better switch to pencil so if I do make a mistake I can rub it out but I just did a light um, border around my whole layout and using pencil I did fill out my journaling and then I went over it with pen and then rubbed the pencil out and now I'm just filling in the lines there just I felt like it needed to um, it needed a border to um, contain all them frames there so going ahead and stamping the date now I only wanted the month and the year because we did stay down there for a week so I didn't want um, any specific date put onto that label because these photos are over a course of a week so I just put December 2017 and now that I'm thinking of it, <laughs> I've put the wrong one. It should be January 2018. Oh my goodness. We went on two holidays. So um, popping down some of those um, acrylic stars from Corbett Creations. And then I'm just going to staple um, the white cardstock to the blue pattern paper. And that's it. So I've slowed down the footage so you can have a look. Now I'm going to have to try and figure out how to fix that December up now. <laughs> Can't believe I did that. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed and don't forget to check out the links below to Kidaholics and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.